My name is Kaylee Saunders and I'm the Expedition Coordinator and Program Director for the International Rescue and Relief Program. Uh, this is actually my sixth international semester um, and we're very excited to be going back to Malawi this time. We will be spending a long time in Malawi, over 10 weeks, uh, where we'll be providing patient care in a refugee camp in remote villages and um, rural hospitals where we'll have to make do with the resources that we have um, as well as uh, thinking how do I uh, assess and treat patients with minimal supplies. This week we're covering Wilderness EMT classes or WEMT. Um, it is an amazing new skill set for these students as uh, up to this point they've received uh, urban EMS training um, where we're focusing on how to uh, do patient care to the, out of the back of an ambulance where transport times are usually within 10 minutes. We're shifting the perspective now to uh, having minimal gear with you and being in more austere environments uh, where transport times are at least over an hour, uh, which kind of, kind of is the definition, and um, with limited supplies. Well, we got to do some hands-on skills, learning CPR, and some improvised splints, improvised carries, pretty much medical work, but with just what we have in our backpack, so. It is hands-on learning, which, like, for anyone who has difficulty learning any other way, like it's it's the best way to pick up skills. So that way you know, like if whenever you go on a hike or a, a backpacking trip or whatever, you know what to do in a situation where there's people that need your help. What we're doing outside right now is just learning how to make um, litters or carrying devices out of unconventional items. Because, like, if you look to the right here, um, you can see that carrying device is made out of nothing but paddles and a jacket. And it's really important for us as wilderness responders to know how to build something to carry somebody when we might not have the necessary tools or resources that we would in the city. It's cold! It's so cold! So we're gonna race yeah, today. Fireman's race for the top WMT class in the United States of America. 2022. 2022. And we're about to win. Right now we're at our last class, our last part of our class for our wilderness EMT. Right, we're in a mass casualty incident, and we're waiting to find out where we're going to be dispatched to. Um, the scenario is that we were all on a hiking trip up a ridge, and lightning struck one of our people over there. She fell down. We all jumped off the ridge because we didn't want to get struck by lightning. In the process, I broke my tib fib, which you can see is bleeding quite heavily. Are you trying to avoid it on your boots? I am. Ah, well, <laughs> I apologize. Was. Okay. Past tense. Class really focuses on providing as real of an event as possible. We do moulage, fake blood, bruising, uh, waxy fingers for uh, cold scenarios with uh, frostbite. We do um, cuts, major bleeds, all these things to try and um, make the environment as real as possible for our students so that if and when they get into a real event, um, they're less shaken by what they would experience and more prepared to get into muscle memory um, and provide care as fast and as soon as efficiently as possible. Mm -hmm.